Hey guys, what's going on? Lever2000 here, and we're back with some more Farming Simulator 2015. I uh, just took a quick break there, um, same day, um, and we're just going to keep going here and finish up this field. Oh my god! Oh man, I am... I am just messing everything up. Like, what am I doing? My harvesting is just atrocious. I'm way, going way too fast for my own good. Uh, lower the header. Wait till this is pretty much done. Since I messed it up, but I'm going to have to just do this myself to get back on track. There we go. Try to get this back in order. We'll just hire the worker and let him continue. Um, after I smashed into my own machine there. Alright, so he should be good for the rest of the time. I'm just going to block this guy off. Because I don't want him to go any further. And I'm going to unhire him. Alright, uh, whoops. I just jumped past the vehicle I wanted to use, which is this one. Hopefully this guy will be able to turn around, and then we can allow him... Oh no, I'm full. Okay, that's an issue. Alright, so we're going to have to go back and unload this, and that's going to cause our guy to stop, but oh well. Our field is going to be done extremely quickly. Um, going to need to start spraying, like I said. We'll start on our other field first. There we go. Quickly unload and rush back over here. I am crashing into everything. I must be drunk. Okay. Oh, get a little um, run in between these two. I don't know if... I'm just going to reposition them myself, I think. I'll just unload him. I Because I don't think one can get all of it, so... Doesn't look like it. That's a pretty big patch. I know who can! He's parked... Uh, over there, you can't quite see him. Oh, you can just barely see him over there. You can get all of it. Come on, come on. Alright, there we go. Let's move him out of the way. And then what I'm going to do is we'll take over this guy first. We would unhire him. We'll let this guy do his thing, and then we'll just pick up whatever he leaves behind. Please don't go like down the center. Please don't go down the center. Okay, he's not. He's gonna get it all. This should be uh, pretty cool. I'll have them going side by side. Now, from what I've seen in like real life, this is usually how it looks. They kind of get this um, offset going, but they're both going the same direction beside each other. Just we couldn't do that because once they got to the end, one would just stop. Like the one on the outside would stop. Uh, but yeah, that's usually how it looks. At least in my experience. Get this chainsaw away that I always try to zoom out with. We'll move this guy out of the way. Just bring him over here. Pop out, and then we can hire this guy again. Good. And we'll bring... Actually, let's bring our sprayer down first. Where's he? Perfect. Alright, avoid this nice flower... bush... thing. We'll cruise over here. 
our um, tillers getting there. It's making pretty good progress. You can start unfolding now. Although I wouldn't imagine that's recommended in real life, but it's fine. Then I'll just wait till we're fully extended to see exactly where we can get away with going. Somewhere around here. And there we go. Looks like it's getting the whole field. Excellent. Okay. You don't need to turn around, so I don't know why you're doing this. Oh. Maybe because of this? Oh. Okay. Well, we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it. Alright, we'll bring him down here. Let me make sure. Is this guy going to get out of the way? Probably not. What are you turning around for? These guys are weird. Okay. There we go. Both fields done. That was pretty fast. This thing is filthy. We need to wash it. Look at that. Oh my god. We'll bring him down here, unload, and then we'll meet our other one. Down the bottom by the uh, red barn there. Uh, yep, perfect. This guy's not very dirty at all. But uh, he didn't quite have to work as hard as our other one there. Our other one did two separate fields. Definitely uh, spending a lot of money uh, with all these hired workers. As you can see, our money's going down quite fast, but that's okay. We are definitely going to make a lot of money out of this barley, so we have a ton of it. Alright, we'll open this guy up, run over here, hop in. So this will get him over 50% full, so that will be over maybe 5,000, over 5,000 I mean. <coughs> Excuse me, is he not going to do it? Do I have to get in? Oh, he his uh, arm might not be all the way extended. There we go. Maybe not over 5,000. Let's see. Yeah, just over 5,000. Alright. We will unload both of these um, tippers, and then we'll look at selling. Because that's all we need to do for now. We don't need to uh, do any more unloading, so it gives us some free time. And night is almost upon us. Alright. This guy's going along pretty steady pace. We'll bring this guy down here because we'll wash him off at some point. And then we just have to empty our big tipper. And then we can get our grand barley total and sell some. Figure out how much we need to buy a tractor and which one we want. I know I've said Lamborghini a lot. I think it's a pretty good choice, but we could go with an even bigger one too. It's not set in stone, so we'll see. Alright. Guess we should put some lights on. I don't know why it always drops frames when you turn your lights on in this game, but I apparently from what I've seen it happens to everyone. Alright, so once we unload this, we'll get the grand total. One barley harvest. I can't remember if we had any in there before, but if it was, it wasn't very much. And our grand total, holy shit. <laughs> 214,000 liters. That's crazy. That's so much. Um, But barley's gone down in value, of course. Of course. Okay. Well, that's all right. Um, good. We got our... Well, we might as well 
keep this one here. I don't know. We're going to have to wait to sell it. I mean, I don't want to lose money on it. I know it's not a lot. It's not a big difference, but still. Uh, we'll pipe this in and we'll park him over here out of the way of everyone. Uh, and then I'll just check on our equipment here. Let's see how he's doing. He hasn't got much left. That's good. Where's our other one? Good. He's getting close to being done as well. So I think we can bring this guy down the bottom of the uh, map here. Those treads look weird in the front because you really they don't move or you can't see them move very well. I mean they're spinning, but it doesn't it, it doesn't look there. Now it does. I don't know. That's weird. Still, the treads are the coolest thing ever. When I turn, you can see them move. Yeah, and we'll just park this guy over here. Actually, we can line him right up, I guess. There's nothing else that needs to be done before this is ready to harvest, so we might as well just get them ready. Line them up. There we go. Excellent. Alright, um... I don't know how long we want to wait here. Only a couple hours, really. A couple hours game time. Um... Other than that, it's just not worth it. I, I do want to sell um, at some point just to see what, how much money we're going to make. And it might bring the value of canola up, and then we can sell some canola too. So it's not going to do us any good to wait too long. And we need to wash this bad boy because it is filthy. Pressure washer may have been our best purchase. The new Holland TC590. This thing has been pretty good to us. I think it was a good first uh, purchase for a new harvester. And it's still doing us good. Alright, looks fairly clean. I'm happy with it. Um, is this guy done? Oh, he's at the end of this field, so we'll just have to turn him around. This tractor is filthy, too. Alright, once we get him lined up here, um, I think we'll move that harvester we just cleaned back over here. Our sprayer seems to be going along pretty well. He's got probably half the field done now. Alright, and we can bring this guy back over. We won't be able to put them right up to the field just because it hasn't been actually seeded or sprayed yet, but bring them over here somewhere close, maybe by this barn or something. On the other side of this barn, I think. I'm trying not to get stuck in the trees. There we go. Right here should be fine. Hopefully um, the sprayer doesn't get stuck on him. Uh, we can fold this up. He's all done. Uh, he doesn't need to help with... Well, yeah, he doesn't need to help with that field. That's fine. He can just come back down here. And park great right about there is good. I don't think he'll be in anyone's way. All right. Um, we can maybe speed time up a bit here. And uh, where's my big tipper? Did I already cycle through it? Oops. Okay, here it is. Um, yeah, it's down in price. We'll um, we'll speed time up for a few hours, and we'll just see if anybody changes their mind and what they want to pay for barley. I don't know why it went down in value. I, probably just bad luck. I don't know if you get like an outrageous quantity of something if that changes the value of it, but. We shall see in a minute here. 
getting fairly close to midnight. Um, or sorry, 10.45. I'll check at uh, 11. Okay, so wheat's up in value still. Um, and that's along with the, uh, the great demand. Uh, yeah, so it's back up to regular price at the flour mill. So I guess we'll, we'll try to sell some at the flour mill. Um, and we can bring our speed back down. Whoops. We'll bring our speed back down and, until our fields are um, sprayed. Because I don't want them growing before. Uh, and start filling with barley. I know we have lots of barley. We'll sell as much as we can here when it's at regular price. I don't know if it'll stay for very long. Probably not, but we'll at least get one uh, load. 32,000 liters should make us a fair amount of money. I'd like to see us somewhere around the $100,000 mark. I think that's what we might be looking at, although maybe not. Um... I don't know if it'll get us 70,000. I think um, Canola was only getting us 80, so it might be um, shooting a little too high there. But we'll see. Hopefully this field isn't growing too fast. Well, this one's already sprayed, so I guess it's not a big deal. Um, but we'll have to keep an eye on that sprayer too because I want to take him over the other field as soon as possible because then we can speed up time and uh, get it growing, get them both growing again. And when when we finish everything or just waiting them, for them to grow, I do uh, do that uh, off camera, I guess you could say. Um, if it's at the end of an episode, then I'll just... Um, do it before I start the next recording, or if it's during an episode, I'll just pause the recording. But uh, either way, um, it'll make you sit through that, because it does take a while sometimes. Oh my god. I was scratching my eyelid, which is not recommended while driving a motor vehicle, just so you know. Alright, let me double check that this is the flour mill. Honkin' horns. Okay, good. All right, let's see what we make here. Okay, yeah, so it was shooting a little high. Um, we had 30, now we're at 76. So, um, I think that was a little over 4,000. I can't remember what it was. I think it was like 32 or something. So a little over $40,000. It's not bad. I'll take it. Um, did that bring our value down? Okay. As long as it hasn't, I'm going to try to sell some more. Just we have way too much of it. So uh, hopefully we can sell another load here before it goes down in value. And then maybe that'll bump canola up and we can sell some of that. We knew this coming in though. We knew barley, really anything but canola isn't going to make us a huge amount of money. But that's okay. Keep an eye on our uh, sprayer there, too. Although selling this next uh, batch of barley before the value goes down is definitely our top priority. Oh, I couldn't decide which way to go around that tree. Oh, my God. Barley again. Load it up. We're still good. And over half full. Come on, come on, come on, hurry up. All right, there we go. Sell another batch here, get us over 100,000. We'll do a more precise calculation of how much we're making off this. Although no promises on my math skills. I've probably messed up already. Um, I definitely am not uh, an A student in math. Or I wasn't an A student in math not in school anymore. Oh my god. And I'm actually not a bad driver, despite what uh, this game has showcased. 
My god, this thing's slow. Can't wait to get a new uh, tractor. We'll look at that uh, once we sell this. There's new tractors before we wrap up the episode. I can't remember how much tractors were. I don't think they're crazy expensive um, until you get into the really heavy duty ones. But that Lamborghini costs a fair amount, as far as I remember. Alright, we're not going to run into that trailer again. And we'll just see if we made it in time here. We did. Okay, good. Alright, so $76,500. Ooh. Okay. So that wasn't even 40k, actually. That's kind of disappointing. Oh no, it was. Sorry. It was over 40k. Oh my god. See? I told you. Math skills. Um, so we had 76,000. We made 45. There, there, a little more than 45,000. Is that right? Let me know. I think. Um, okay, so our uh, sprayer did get stuck. Like I said, we we're going to have to keep an eye on that. So now that we've sold that, is the value? The value is still up. I mean, we're going to keep doing it. <laughs> we have a lot. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're going to unhire him. Now, unfortunately, I can't do this myself because um, there's nothing in the sprayer. Now, as long as you hire a worker, he fills it himself, so it doesn't matter. But we're going to have to let him do this, and then we're going to have to turn him around again. So we're up to 21,000. Um, we're pretty much out of time for this episode, so once um, I turn him around here, we'll just take a look at what that... Uh, tractor markets looking like and then we'll wrap things up this might go a little longer than usual but uh, only by a couple minutes and we'll just get him to spray the rest of this field for us and then he can head off to the second one and next episode um, I'll, I'll just spray the field off camera because it's really I mean nothing special to watch and then uh, we can speed up time actually maybe maybe not I'll see maybe we'll sell some uh, some more product first anyway uh, we'll worry about that after let's just look at tractors really quickly and uh, what we're in the market for so uh, this our best tractor right now I believe we're looking at um, 148 horsepower and we want something more than that uh, this is less uh, but way less maintenance per day. That's what you're going to see a difference in, even though the, the price is more. Um, but we're looking for something over 148 horsepower. Um, so we're going to have to get quite high up here. Um, this one's 190. So that's a significant increase. And we can afford that fairly soon. Uh, this new Holland's 160. So that's, you know, just... A little bit more. Uh, this case um, is 203, which is pretty good. Um, and that's affordable pretty soon as well. I think the next one is the Lamborghini. Yeah. So the Lamborghini 220 horsepower. That's a powerful tractor. That's a big tractor. You can see, like, it looks bigger than these ones. The big wheels. Um, and yeah, that's that's going to be pretty powerful. And that's 195. So none of those are over 200,000. It doesn't get over 200,000 until after that. Then you're looking at some really powerful tractors like 263 and 320. I mean, that's a big tractor. Um, but they're also quite a bit more expensive. And I don't think we need that yet. I think somewhere around the 200 horsepower range is fine. So let me know what you guys think. I'm leaning towards the Lamborghini spending a little bit more money, but this case is actually looking like a, a decent option too. So let me know what you think. Um, and I'm not spending too much money on these big ass tractors. Although this is going to be the goal someday for sure. Cause you know, I like the treads, but anyway, um, 
leave me a comment let me know uh hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave me a comment and a like and uh until next time take care and i'll see you again soon